hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna be getting ready just getting ready to go chill at my new friend's house my my, my no uh, my friend's new place so it's like a housewarming thing everything is content and getty um you guys will have to suffer and get ready with me i'm gonna be installing my wig and doing some light makeup i had already straightened my hair and I did a video on how I prepare my wigs before I install them. So I'm gonna put the link here. This is actually quite cool. You know, I used to watch YouTubers doing that and I was like, one day I'm gonna do that. Okay, so this is the hair from Shein. This wig is not bad. Can you see the lace? It's not that terrible. Can you guys hear my, my music? I don't even know why it's playing Christmas songs. Okay, let me change my music. And then we'll come back and talk about my life here in Poland. I've been in Poland for like three years, by the way. I must say, like when I came and now, the difference, like it's so different. And things were like less expensive, less foreigners, if I must say. I came to Poland to study nursing. It's going well, I don't want to lie. I study in English and not in Polish. We do have Polish lessons in our, our first year. We have like the opportunity to learn the language actually to a certain level. You can learn it if you put your mind into like, I want to learn this subject. I want to learn this language. How is the program, the nursing program? I would say it's a very good program. We have like really good professors. Everything is very professional. And there's just one or two lectures that no english but like sometimes it's shaky so you need to like pay more attention but pretty much all the lecturers that are there they know what they are doing they teach us very well we also have practicals so whilst we're learning the theoretical part we go practice in the hospitals and stuff we get the opportunity so i think nursing is a good program to study in poland as for the other programs that are offered by my school i wouldn't know much so i can't really say much on that subject but there are a lot more programs that the school offers in english like international business and economics tourism and hospitality physiotherapy the options are plenty so when it comes to options yeah like guaranteed that you can find something of your interest expenses when it comes to expenses things have changed groceries would cost me something like 100 us dollars let me say it in polish money and then i can like probably um convert it so i would i wouldn't spend much if i'm being honest on groceries i would spend something like 300 lottie and by myself i'll get everything that i need like from veg meat red stuff your sausages your snacks dessert you get with like that 350 and it will last you for a good month so when it comes to experiences like life was so good i don't wanna lie i mean times have changed there was the ukraine war and stuff so a lot of things might have affected the way life actually was here in poland housing Housing wasn't expensive either. Rent was like 800 zloty, 900 zloty, 1,000. Just depending on like your comfort and your money. My, the apartment I used to stay in, if I still have pictures or like, if you look at my old, old videos, you will see the apartment I used to stay in. It went for, it started off at 700. The bills were 100. So I would pay 800 every month. And we used to stay the two of us in the house. So that is like a really like it was a two bedroom that's like a really good deal you can't find anything like that these days like if somebody says they're staying in an 800 lottie apartment you're like where are you staying how many of you because another thing is you you know like you can be staying with five people in 800 um but i don't even think that's possible today so i was staying in an apartment for 800 every month and that is good now i'm staying did i give you the comparison of the grocery 
yeah i didn't i thought i did so grocery would be like about 300 back then and now trust you can spend about double on your groceries like can you see the jump like double for everything and sometimes you won't even get all your favorite stuff you know if you want to get your favorite stuff you need to go a little over you know your budget and stuff like okay i'm talking about my budget like don't come at me at the comments i'm just saying like now you know you you'd get everything that you need you wouldn't even look at the price but like now i get into the store and i'm checking the price like so this rice if right Iman then will come and then you are just there like and then when it comes to housing as i'm telling you i used to pay 800 guys i feel like this touches me because i was so comfortable you know another area where i would spend so much money is uber oh my goodness uber has uber has taken all my money ah like no you don't realize when you're spending uber money because you can ask for confirmation and stuff <laughs> you just see that oh your ride is here your ride will be there I mean, it's so convenient especially like in winter and that one time you're gonna be late for your lesson in winter rent is now slightly higher and i feel like it's because of you know just um, things have changed so much has changed and i understand the rent concept thing yeah but like sometimes it's like what how do we get from 800 to 1.3 it's confusing times because you know in our agents would tell us no come to poland poland those agents that tell you oh, poland is such a good country it's affordable blah 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 yeah it was affordable now i think it's just okay it's like any other it's just that the currency that we use is not like that deep like euro or like us but i can safely say like it's the life here is manageable the lifestyle in poland the lifestyle here is good i feel like you can adapt anyone can adapt to the polish the country it's not that hard to adapt to the country um what is hard is making like polish friends because not everyone in poland speaks english no when i came here i thought everybody spoke english because i thought english was international like everyone needs their own country language and english but i guess i was wrong because polish people don't know english most of them don't know english trust me i've tried to make so much friends like friends in poland and we start off well because they know the basic stuff and then like later on it's like crazy because of that language barrier you know if you're planning on like making polish friends or like meeting polish people you have to kind of learn their language so that you guys meet each other halfway because of the food i've tried i've tried i've tried i've tried polish food you guys i just think it's not for me at this point because ah uh, the only thing i can eat is a pierogi i don't understand some of their soups and um also i'm just not a person who likes trying new stuff so i might have a biased answer to this one polish food for me is strange to my tongue i don't think i could ever live with their foods in j their soups hey imagine i'm having soup for lunch i can't poland is also well known for like their vodka so if you're like into alcohol and stuff they got you these people drink like there's no tomorrow and they still be fine polish food i would say i would give it a i would give it a four four tasted the pierogi and i feel like that's one thing that my tongue can adjust to do i like it no would i eat it again yeah definitely why not it kind of tastes like a dumpling actually it's a dumpling the pierogi is like a dumpling I'll just keep my ting bro. <laughs> Poland is not a bad country, y'all. It's not terrible. Clothing. Polish people have style, and I guess if you don't like like the style from the stores, you can always order online. Like I wouldn't say Polish people dress bad. They do dress well. It's not like they have got like a cultural 
I don't know actually I've never seen any Polish cultural clothing so let me not like any type of fashion here I guess whether you like street style you want to look like old money aesthetic you can get all that stuff here places do deliver in Poland as well like Shein, Lissos, blah blah lifestyle what else counts as lifestyle sightseeing sightseeing and vacation this is the zakopane i feel like zakopane is like one of the biggest um places to go if you're like a tourist and stuff or you like traveling you will definitely have a good time in zakopane i would suggest you go like in winter if you want to have like a full experience because it's a snow mountain mountainous area it's snow mountainous area at ah. times where english runs away and that's okay but i just never understand why cities you can go to for fun there's energy landia there's lemon resorts like you can find things to do within the city and Considering that my visa, the school visa that we get, it allows you to travel outside like the Schengen area. It allows you to, to go to Germany, it allows you to go to whatever you want to go, Malta, blah, blah, blah. So when it comes to that, you are not limited. You can travel anywhere you want, actually. And for UK and stuff, I mean, you, you UK has a thing where you have to like apply for their visa. You can do that. A lot of people visit their relatives and stuff from here. To the Poland <laughs> to the UK. The other thing that has changed here in Poland is <laughs> there are now plenty of people. So unlike how it was when I got here in 2020, like yes, there were Africans and other nationalities and stuff, but there weren't as many as there are now. So I wouldn't want to say it was lonely, no, but it was more of the people from this place. Like you wouldn't just bump into any black person on a normal day type of situation and now you do bump into them you know and some that kind of makes the place a little like feel a little homey there's not more black people more rwandans babwans bopians and i mean that's good that's good that's good it means that poland to the world i'm forgetting to touch on is racism would i say this place is racist um not always is that a good answer some people do oh, what am i doing trust the process i've had racist encounters with racist people this one time i was just minding my own business isn't this i was by the bus stop i was putting on earphones imagine but then i keep on hearing someone speaking so loud and everyone just checking me out because i had a pink wig on so i mean it was for me it was like ah, it's normal if people are looking at me because my hair is kind of like a distraction right now i understand that woman kept on shouting she was shouting like she was shouting then i realized no this woman is saying something to me because everyone else wasn't moving like wasn't moved by what was going on everyone seemed so fine with that woman shouting that's when i realized that no man is talking to me directly and I couldn't hear nothing because it was in Polish, sadly. And the second time was when I was looking for an apartment. I had talked to this one person online and we had a whole good, you know, conversation about how I'm going to be staying in an apartment. And the moment I get there and she sees me, she just looks at me and she closes the door like... She's like... And she closes the door. You know, she gives me a little smirk you're lost dog you're the one who needs the dole those are like the only racist encounters i have encountered you know what i mean those are the only times i could have said like i felt offended by a polish person did that affect my life no not really it didn't affect my life i still know my word you know who i am i know my rights to be here and um i'm not like embarrassed of who i am and stuff i told you guys to what to trust the process <laughs> trust the that experience like made me feel some type of way yeah i did feel the okay what with with that woman who shouted at me with the pink wig it's like i wasn't really sure if she was just shouting at me or she was just crazy by herself 
so that one but then when i was looking for an apartment that did let me down because i felt like we had this vibe with this woman over the phone you know i haven't heard of a lot of people that have actually come across racism i feel like the most racism we do come across is when we're looking for apartments because not everyone wants a black person in their apartment i guess i don't know i don't know so that's basically it when it comes to racism on my end tuition hasn't changed actually it's been the same since i got here um as a nursing student i am paying 300 euro, 3000 euro per year and business goes for 1.6 per year which is good i really think it's good 1.6 right oh i'm not lying 1.6 per year so that's about it for tuition tuition has never moved it's been the same do people get scholarships i've heard of scholarships you apply for scholarship and then they'll monitor your grades and stuff so that is possible and then when it comes to the visa process the visa process is not that difficult you just need an agent to help you out i don't know i've heard of people who have applied for themselves and got themselves here so it is possible for you to do your own stuff but if you don't like the whole stress of not you know knowing where to start and all like it is necessary to get an agent i used an agent to do my papers and stuff and my young brother did it by himself my young brother's in a different city though my brother did it by himself he you know organized everything and stuff and stuff found out all the things that he needed he was in contact with the school and he's here nothing went wrong then when you get your visa you get a one-year visa the visa usually takes about two weeks to come out from SA. It's valid for a year. So when you're now this side, there's a, something called the temporary residence card that you need to start applying for before your visa expires so that you are legal in Poland. If you're found without that document, you could be sent back home and that's not the type of heat we want. You need to get that temporary residence card and it's usually valid for the amount of time that your course takes so if your course is finishing in three years it's going to be valid for two years because you had the visa for the first year and then now you're going to have the temporary residence card for the next two years um they do give you like a few extra months after your graduation like get your shit in order then go back home or go wherever you intend to go so that's a plus this is tiresome you guys like I wanna lie, like that office, you know those Zimbabwean government offices. Ah, like I don't know what why I want to be government. I want to be seven Zakuma government institution. They don't wanna work with us. Like it is like that. Yeah, like they're nice and stuff, but they are like I don't wanna say strict, just a little harsh. Because why are you being mean on a Monday? I get a Monday. What is the reason? This is my final look you guys i have so much more to say but i can't say it anymore because i'm really supposed to be not home right now i'm an hour late it's like my usual time of being late fashionably late to i want to like do this new year new me thing like beginning now i know i just want to be like 30 minutes late i feel like an hour is too much because somebody kept me waiting for an hour yesterday and i felt it So yeah, that's basically all I could talk about today about Poland, you guys. Thank you for sitting here and listening to me. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed our little chit chat. I'm going to be doing more of these chit chats because I'm trying to also improve with talking in front of the camera. Like my confidence. I'm trying to boost my confidence. This is my first or my second. So bear with me if you continue growing with me we're gonna be like good before you know it you know what i mean so don't forget to like comment subscribe share and try out in your hair and your makeup because why not why not oh, bye <laughs>